Do Milang Borotua. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome to my vlog. It's a vlog today. It is a weekly Wednesday vlog. Uh, if I didn't say, if I didn't tell you guys, I will be posting vlogs every Wednesdays and I'll be posting sit downs on either Monday or Sunday. And if it's sponsored <laughs> and the client wants it to be on any other day, then we'll do that. So today we're going to be cooking. We have goodies from You Cook. And I'm actually going to show you uh, a, a, like two things that I got for my skincare. Because guys, as you can see, your girl is breaking out. But you know what? Breakouts don't phase me, guys. I break out all the time and I'm able to clear them. Um... Oh, I'm also going to show you how to to preserve natural pampas grass. So either you picked it in the field or you bought it from the florist. So uh, I've seen people buying pampas for like a lot of money, guys. Uh, I went to a store in water, uh, in what is it? Waterfront. Yeah, in waterfront. And they were selling a stem. Is stem SC1 stem C1 450? So, if I'm looking for 10, I'm gonna pay like 150, like 1500. Child, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing but anyway. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Subscribing is important, and please do that. So, let's continue with our day. So I got this clear candle plate from Mr. Price Home. It is glass. Yeah, it's glass. <laughs> Sorry, it's probably those things. Um, this is this I know is very random. It looks random, but I have a very you know vague idea as to what I want to do. This is for my background when I'm filming, and I got this scented candle from Mr. Price. Um, this is 50 rand and this is 21, 22 rand to be exact. Uh, I got this one because I was looking for the brown shade. Usually when it comes to scented candles, I am a vanilla kind of girl. I don't like limes. I don't like, I don't hate saddle wood to be honest. Uh, it's not something that I'll go for, but I bought it specifically for the tone. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I'm into more browns. I'm into yeah browns. I hope I hope my my life for browns lasts forever because I've bought a lot of brown things. But yeah, so I'm trying to do a very warm tone yet white background for my YouTube. And this candle and the situation is going to be completely cute. I mean, last year I was doing golds and greens. I still love it, but uh, I think. I'm over there and then I got oh there's something that I forgot to buy guys Mr. Price has this really cute candle that's in like a Roman God face if that makes sense I wanted to buy that just for decorative I was not gonna like lit light it but I forgot oh I think it's probably my other stuff I'll look for it but I also bought this clay uh, vase I wanted to get this in black and my husband convinced me that the white one looks better so I got this I'm gonna put my pampas grass in here guys that's why I bought this for but uh, I think I'm gonna look for a smaller one just to you know make the place cuter I think that's it when it comes to stuff for my I'm, I'm taking um, oh where's where's my pampas I was overreacting <laughs> and then at Clegs I bought many many other things from Clegs but I'm just showing you the things that uh, I think you guys might be interested in as I mentioned uh, I'm I'm thinking of um, trying a different cleansing balm because right now I haven't really finished the Hermosa Flow one 
but to be honest with you guys i love hermosa friend as a brand and i obviously love the the cleansing balm i love it it's a cleansing oil actually i'm gonna say a balm but uh, i came from using the clinique take the day off and i can say um i was a bit spoiled when it comes to cleansing balms because i feel like i had the creme de la creme of cleansing balms and even though I do like the Hermosa Flow one, I, the only thing that I don't like about it is because when you apply it on, obviously it does take out most of your makeup. Uh, the issue is when it comes, I think the rinsing part. Uh, usually what I expect from a cleansing balm is when I, when I, um, when I rinse, I want it to be emulsifying to a very milky texture, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't want it to be oily and then I don't want it to make my, um, I don't want it to make my basing or whatever where I'm washing my face dirty and leave a cast of oil or like an oily rim. I don't want that from a cleansing balm. I just, I don't like it. I don't know. It's just not what I want from a cleansing balm. And uh, that's the only con I have about it. But it works. Uh, it doesn't really have a... It has a very oily scent. Unlike the Clinique one, it does not have any oil. But I obviously, I feel like I can't really compare the Hermosa Floor Cleansing Balm to the Clinique one. Because, I mean, Hermosa Floor is a relatively new brand. Especially that cleansing oil was new to the range of products that they offer so i mean i'm sure they will improve they they formulas but um yeah that's the only kind i have but i got this aponz one i'm gonna try this one this month and I, i've decided to like try products and share with you re like informally review them on my vlogs so i'm going this month i'm going to be trying the pons one but i've never been this excited about a launch because guys um we have been waiting and waiting for a a makeup cleanser a cleansing balm to say that is drugstore it's not it's not on the very cheap side to be honest but it's relatively big and guys look I hope you guys can see this but it comes in with a little you know spatula oh it's so pretty guys and you it has a cap I like the Clinique one it doesn't really have a cap and I'm trying guys I have a very bad sense of smell <laughs> I'm trying to smell it doesn't smell like anything uh, I'm scared to touch mm, it feels very much like the Clinique one guys I'm not gonna lie it might be a dupe it is a bit cheaper than the Clinique one, but um, yeah, let's see. I'm going to try this at night and then I'll tell you guys how it is, but I'm excited to try this out. And then uh, if you guys know, uh, I used the same moisturizer forever, the Eureach Even Bright or the Water, the water Moisturizer. And you know, sometimes I ditch it and I want to try something new. And this month, I'm trying the Olay. This one. The Olay Complete. Uh, I haven't used it. I want to try it. The packaging is so minimal, sophisticated, classy. It is everything that I, aesthetically, that I would want in a skincare package. Uh, and also, <laughs> if I take a picture of it for my Instagram, it will, it will fit. Uh, so this is how it looks, <laughs> guys. My my sense of smell is currently not working right now. <laughs> it hardly does, but for me, this doesn't smell like any, anything. I'll tell you if my sense of smell comes back. <laughs> but currently, I can't smell anything. But uh, this is how the cream looks. So this is apparently a a day cream. It has SPF 15. I will still put sunscreen on top of this. I'm not gonna stop. And the main reason why I bought this is because I saw it has uh, silicit 
Ooh, I, I never can pronounce this name. Silicit, silicit. Yeah, that. You guys know what I'm talking about. And niacinamide. And uh, I've been trying to incorporate those uh, actives in my skincare. And I think this this moisturizer is going to give me what I want. So apparently this hydrates, nourishes, and protects the sun. Uh, I'll tell you guys how I feel. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think the pompous is getting better. There's less flyaways. Uh, I think we should go cook now, ne? Should we? Yeah, I think we should go do that. So guys, as I mentioned, I am going to be cooking bits from you cook. So the food comes in this big box and uh, I just wanted to make a quick disclaimer. This is not sponsored, but I was lucky enough to get this gift from you cook. So it's not sponsored, it's a gift. Um, if you want to know what you cook is, you cook is a meal kit website where you can order meals. Minimum of meals that you can order is three. So you can order meals that come with recipes and they come with the exact amount of ingredients that you need. So obviously that saves you from wasting money. It saves you from actual going to the grocery stores. As you guys know, I go to the grocery store probably every day, but lucky enough, I didn't go to the grocery stores this week. I did go, but like not as much. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what you cook is. So if you want to know how the food comes, it obviously comes in a box like this. And I've already opened mine and put them in the fridge because I've had my box since Tuesday, I think. And they have ice packs. So the, the food is, is packed properly. It's not going to spoil. Nothing will happen to the food. It comes cold and I think it can stay cold for a while. So you shouldn't be worried about that. Um, Obviously, if you're not going to cook the food on the specific day, you can just keep it in the fridge. And for me, what's nice about you cook is that it comes with the recipe. See, when you're a mom or you're a person that cooks, it gets really boring. It gets so boring for the people that you're cooking for and for like for yourself. I don't like cooking the same thing all over again. I think that's why I'm always at the shops because I'll ask my husband, like, do you want to try something new? Do you want to do this and i have to quickly run to the store and go buy the ingredients and things like that so you know i like spicing things up so i think you cook is a really good idea if you're a mom and you're busy and you don't want to be going on the internet for recipes or you just don't want to think too much uh, <laughs> uh so let's see what I'm, I'm making today so i think i'm going to be making the creamy Mediterranean chicken. The ingredients of the meal are baby potatoes, first thyme, almonds, chicken stock, free range, free range, chicken breasts, uh, garlic cloves, sun-dried tomatoes, fresh cream, grated Italian style hard cheese, lemon, peas, and fresh basil. So that's everything. I'm probably going to, you know, add my own spices because I can see there's no spices really. They just said season. You know, they, they probably talk about salt and pepper, but I don't get it. <laughs> so, yo, let's get cooking, guys. Uh, I actually have to preheat the oven at 200 degrees Celsius.
food. <laughs> it's so perfect. It also smells really good, guys. This is for my husband and that. Oh! What are you? I'm a policeman. I'm catching those bandits. Okay, sweetie. Ah, ah, I literally ah, went to the party. Ah, ah. <laughs> Let's go sleep. <laughs> Guys, uh, good night. Let me go sleep because your friend is ready to be put down. Guys, can I just say, when this child was a baby, he did not care about me. Like, I would go for hours and hours throughout the day and he wouldn't cry. Now, <laughs> I can't even go into the toilet. But anyway, guys, Chronicles of Being a Mom. I think two is making him dizzy. But good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. My wig is already talking for me. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Love you. Welcome to my channel guys, it's the next day. My husband and I in Stellenbosch, we decided to, let me just stand back here. We decided to do some stuff that we needed to do in Stellies, it's also not far. Yeah, it's like 15 minutes. So, it's also very cute here. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Guys, I just got back. I'm exhausted. Anyway, I want to say thank you for watching my vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.